And in the positive and everything, this may actually sound easier than it is, but at the same time, it can be quite comical sometimes. Um, reality is everybody's life. There always is. It's just the will of the world. Um, but it's how you deal with it is important. Um, I was talking to somebody. Oh, it was actually Tok Tok Kali this week because uh, he'd, he'd lost three weeks of work. And I said, well, host gate has managed to lose me well, about seven years' worth, and I'm not sitting here worried about it. At the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, at the end of the day, every time I mention don't use HostGator, then that's probably something that will probably damage them more than me. Um, but at the same time, I'm not proactively pushing things out there on a daily basis and some sort of act of vengeance. At the end of the day, these things happen, and they're a bad company. I you don't have to take my word for it. Quite happily, just to Google on there. Um, but the positives, the positives on that was, like I said to my wife, you know, the stuff for the Philippines, a lot of the articles have gone, there's about 9,000 articles in the websites. And I says, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, we've moved on from there. Um, all the photos and stuff are here, so I'm not really fussed. We've shared our knowledge and experience over that time frame. So if other people want to do the same, that's fine. You know, at the same time, when we have some new stuff, I'll quite happily share it. I'm not saying the Philippines changed that much because it hasn't. You know, at the end of the day, the Philippines is still 15, 20 years behind everybody else in a lot of Western countries. And I'm going to be quite broad on that because I know there's a lot of countries that the Philippines is exactly the same. I was so surprised how much of Spain, with its bureaucracy, the manana attitude the monopolies with the power and stuff are exactly the same as the Philippines. <laughs> and then you go through other countries as well, same issues. But then do you look at the negative or do you look at the positive? For me, when we had no internet for five weeks, I spent more time with my wife, I spent more time with the kids. Um, it's a bit stressful, a little bit, because quite simply you don't know when it's going to get fixed, which is the stress bit. But at the same time, I wasn't really wasting my time you know i was doing things like going to play tennis with my son um doing things that i like doing now once the band goes which is the the next major thing i want to do um that will be a major thing for us because once we swap the van out for a new car it means we'll go over to valencia head into madrid travel around a lot more get the drones airborne um so even with a van, you could sit there going, it's an old van, I wish it was, you know, do more, work better. But reality is, it's an old van. Once it's gone, it's gone. Once it's replaced something newer, it's, it's fine. The positive is it's cost me less than, less than a thousand a year. A thousand euros a year, you know, because it's, it's kept running. It made it all the way to Valencia. It doesn't sound a lot, but it's a four-hour drive each way. Um, and it's potted around here. It's had to have alternator wrenched out, tightened up multiple times, water pump put back on, and all this sort of stuff. But in honestly, for a thousand euros a year, I, it's not really. It's it's been a good investment. Um, because let's face it, a new car would cost me at least ten thousand euros. Um. And that's not for a good car. I was surprised how much the cars cost these days. Because uh, I normally get my cars for free with companies. They, they give me a company car, which for me, I know people going, oh, well, about the tax and all this. You know what? The positive in having a company car, no maintenance, no, maintenance, no service, no depreciation of value. It doesn't cost me a thing. You know, at the end of the day, it's free. Um, so that is the positives in having a company car. I know a lot of people are against all that because they can get a allowance anyway. But in all honesty, I like zero debt. Zero debt is always a positive for me. Um, so yeah, finding the positives all the time. So when you get stuff that goes wrong or whatever, please bear in mind there is always somebody worse off. You know, if you've got both legs, both arms, both eyes, both ears, etc., you're better off than a lot of other people. If you have a good family life, you're better off than a lot of people. Uh, happily married. I mean, you look at marriage statistics, you're looking at about 50% failure in most countries these days. Um, 
And I suppose a lot of the countries that don't have that figure, there's a lot of unhappy marriages that won't let them get divorced. <laughs> so um, there's all these sort of things where you're better off than a lot of people already. And that, that's the important thing for me. I've got a roof over my head, happy happy wife, happy kids, nice nice location, good weather. I've got to admit, it's November. I'm still wearing shorts and T-shirts. Um, although it is about 11, 12 degrees outside, but it's still a lot warmer than it would be in the UK, and we're happy and content. And that's the main thing, is just build your life to create your happiness around you. You know, be content or get content. Do stuff that makes you happy. Um, There's very many people out there that are built on negativity. Tabloids are built on negativity. The news networks do not say, hey, it's another great day. Nothing's happened today, so don't bother watching the news. They're all doom and gloom. And it's a sign of the times. We're not seeing new explorers and adventurers doing something amazing or uh, revolutionizing something very little of that hits the media any, anymore. It's all about reality TV. I don't even know what reality TV is. I don't understand it. I don't know why anybody would watch it. I mean, I know you sit and watch me, but I don't call this reality TV because you're not watching me going shopping or whatever. You're sort of talking with me, although it's a one-way conversation. Um, but the point being is there's a lot of stuff that is purely negative out there and bypassing it, circumventing it, Seeing the positive and other things will always get you ahead and keep you much happier than getting sucked into it. So be happy.